Oh, uh, it's our beloved Brisbane, and it's where uh, everyone in the band comes from. And we adore Brisbane, we've always loved Brisbane. Unlike Robert, I don't feel a, an affinity or a closeness to this town at all. Uh, I feel the closest towards a couple of years in this town. Um, I like the river. And I think we're going to go and see that later on, so that'll be nice. That'll be good. You have a new face in the lineup now, but also from Brisbane, keeping the ties in. Yeah. What made you hire this, this particular face, face here? Um, we, hired, we hired John um, on his talent. It was his talent. Yeah, um, that's the, that was the first need. We wanted um, a good bass player, and um, John has always been in well, the rest of the band's eyes an exceptional. And uh, I, I hardly ever use the word exceptional. An exceptional musician. And um, we wanted an exceptional musician in the band. His image is something that we've got a whole team of PR people onto, but um, I'm sure we can sort something out before we have to do a photo session. I'm sure there will be some improvements, but um, when one comes in, one goes. <laughs> and I'm allowed to say that, so yeah, I'm not I'm you. Keep my mouth yeah. shut, you know. <laughs> What's it you like? He wants to talk about Robert Vickers. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> Where Robert the Vickers is, yeah. what's he yes. doing. He wanted to um, live in New York. Uh, he spent four years of his life there when he left Brisbane after the Riptides kicked him out of the band. Um, he, wanted, he went to New York, lived there for four years. He's got a girlfriend that he's been going out with for about ten years. And he just wanted to spend more time with her. He didn't want to travel on the road as much. and. We respect his decision and, you know, it's great that he's there. So what's your previous history that you have been able to settle so smoothly into the go-betweens? I've got a drinking problem. Um, yeah, I was in a band and uh, oh, Robert and I used to play together. And yes, um, they, took, they took my drummer, you know, a long time ago. Um, so you're getting back at us, right? Yeah. Basically, I've, I've moved in, I'm going to kick you two out, okay? <laughs> And in town, the city has changed quite a lot as well. Yeah. Maybe we should check out the centre of focal points of, of Brisbane city. Where do your memories lie, Bob? Well, strange enough, they lie Elizabeth Arcade. Elizabeth, why Whistling Elizabeth between Arcade? Elizabeth Arcade, very old, between, say, 1974-78. Over on the left was the definitive Brisbane record store. My favourite thing about Brisbane is the river. I love the way it just goes through everything. And when I went to school here, I used to get the ferry up every weekend. Uh, every time I come back, I try and take a ferry ride. So it's great that you did this thing, so I could you could actually pay for me to go on. It was great. It you was ever been for a swim river. in the river? No, okay. I was dumped when I was rowing once. Right, I was Likewise. dumped. I didn't. I didn't like that. No. What's the water like? You smell. Uh, you sort of smell yeah. like uh, it's unbelievable. Actually, it takes hours, like five washes, to get out of your clothes, all that sort of stuff. Not very pleasant. Because it's a tidal river, you see. It's a tidal river. Since we're moving off, maybe I can ask you in exchange for the ferry fare to give us a little guided tour as we move down the ferry of places that you have been well, to. Well, maybe a little later on, I could go down and actually skipper the boat as well. You know, that'd be good. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, the sad thing about it is that. Um, you see all these places that have been torn down. I mean, that's that's why I, it's so disappointing and sad coming back to Brisbane because I don't recognise anything. Um, the bridge, of course, when you go under it, is just magnificent. It's just magnificent. I've always liked sort of river towns, ports. I, I, my favourite cities in the world, and this isn't one, but my favourite cities in the world have harbours and ports. You know, it's. It's great. I love you know, the mangroves here. It's, it's great. And then you look back and you see the horrible skyline. Up on the back here is New Farm, which has always been one of the more trendier areas, for want of a better word. Does this mean that a lot of these houses you would have been viewing over the river when you were partying and half drunk? Yeah, there was um, a lot of these houses up here people used to live in because they were quite cheap then. And there used to be lots of parties, bands played at New Farm Park where we're going to sort of end up um, there were lots of gigs there in summer I remember seeing the apartments there once in 1978, 79 
but you know it, it's not a nostalgic thing to me I, I don't come down here and get sad I I just like it I think it's great that there's something as innocent in a way and old compared to the the Dallas the the Houston that is uh, Brisbane now I mean just look back at that you know it's 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 disgusting